Hello children, how are you? Fine. Say how are you? Fine. Are you fine? Yes. So today I am going to start base theorem. Base theorem. Now first of all I will write the statement. Then I will find everything. So you have to write also. Write the statement. Write the statement of base theorem each and every one. If e1, e2, e3, comma dot dot dot, en are in non-empty events, in non-empty events. Having non zero probabilities, non zero probabilities representing representing the partition of sample space. Partition of sample space is let A is let A is any event associated with the sample space. Is then then P E I by A equal to P E I into P A by E I by summation J equal to one to N. P E J into P A by E J. Here I is equal to one, two, three, so on up to n. Noted, everyone? Yes. So as you have already studied about the partition of sample space, so I think somehow it is going to be very clear what is the base theorem. See. base theorem is just the extended format of the conditional proof right as if you see what is the basic of probability you will see sir favorable outcome by total number of possible outcomes right yes. so if you see this you see the denominator you will see sir this is the total probability right yes. this is the total probability and what is this this is the favorable outcome So favorable outcome by total number of possible outcomes. Same thing is written in this form. Then you will have a question, sir. What is the use of this? Why it is written like that? So many things are there which I have already cleared in the previous class. If you see in my YouTube channel, then you will better understand what I have explained. Right? Yes. Have you seen anyone? Yes. Okay, yes. very nice. So I am going to prove this theorem. Okay. See. See the proof. In two lines, only in two lines, this result you will get. Only in two lines. See proof. So what is here? In the next part, you will see that this is P E I by A, right? So you have studied already the conditional probability. So what will be the value of this? Can anyone tell? Sir, no. Sir, P P A intersection P I I P A P A P 
Clear? Yes. Now, what we can write this? What we can write this? We can write this like P E I into P A by E I. And what this will be written? This will be written as I have already told in the total probability theorem of total probabilities that P A is nothing but this. So you have to write J equal to one to n P E J into P A by E J. Here I equal to one, two, three, up to n. Right. So only two lines you have seen. This is the proof. Okay. Now the question, the most important thing that is arising, what is the use of base theorem? Pranav, you you tell me. What is the use of base theorem? You stand up, then tell. Yes. Understood anyone? Nothing. Whatever he is saying, you are not understanding, right? Swetha, you say. You don't know. Okay, sit down. See, the uh, yes, you say. Sir, it is the theorem in order to take out the ten numbers of possibilities. Means uh, till now, whatever we have studied, we have studied about one, two, three, four, a limited uh, quantity of number that we can take out. But in this, we can take out n numbers of possibilities. That is why we use all the open use summation. Somehow, you are very near. But I am going to explain. Sit down. See, if there is only one event, suppose I am taking an example. Suppose there is a bag in which five red balls are there, six red balls are there, and if I will ask that what is the probability that if you have drawn one ball, one red ball, then what is the probability of drawing or one red ball, right? So very easily you can find a favorable outcome by total number of possible outcomes, right? But If you will see that in the question paper, you will see that too many events are given, and one event is connected towards all the event. What I mean? I mean that suppose there are not one bag, there are two bags, three bags, four bags. What is this? Means that the sample space. This is the sample space. If I am telling about only one bag, it means that there is only one event. If I will ask you that there are two events. Suppose one is E1, another is E2, right? In one event, you will see that there are suppose red, red here is four red ball and six black ball, got it? And another in another bag, suppose this is that, so if there is five red ball and seven black ball, okay? So if now I will ask you that what is the probability of drawing a red ball? Then you ask sir from which bag? Yes. It means that you are going to take from this bag also and from this bag also, right? Yes. But if I will ask you that the ball which is drawn that is red, but what is the probability that the ball is drawn from the first bag? This is called Bayes theorem because Bayes theorem gives you what? Just the opposite of the conditional probability, reverse of the probability you can say. Reverse means you are not going to find P A by E one. You have to find P E one by A. See what we are going to find here. We have to find the probability of the bag from which you have drawn the red ball. I am not asking you the probability of the red ball drawn. What I am asking that one incident is happened already. What is the incident? Incident is that red ball is drawn. This incident is done. Now we have to find that this red ball you have drawn. Very good. But from which bag? So what is the probability of that this ball which you have drawn is from bag one or bag two? So there can be many events. E three, E four, E five. So many events can be there, and you have to find that a particular bag or particular pack or particular event. You have to find that from this event, this event is being done, right? So this is nothing but the Bayes theorem, and we will apply in the question paper, right?
So if you go through the exercises, you will see a lot of questions are there. And when you will solve many questions, then your concept will be more clear. Okay. So let us see some questions. 